Okay, Alan, if you could uh, state your name for me. No. You want to state your name? You know it. No, but the people live right here don't know what your name is. So, Can I say your name? It's up to you. What's your middle name? What's your middle initial? Is it P? No. Your name middle name? Why are you shy all of a sudden? You was dancing a while ago. <laughs> I want to. I did a thing yesterday on the on the on the internet here. I posted a video to Facebook, and it was uh, challenging someone to sing "Ice Ice Baby." Yes, I did. Don't call me a liar. I know I did. Okay. Well, you just you more or less just called me a liar, and you hurt my feelings just a little. Bit. Where at? Where at what? On Facebook, and I did. And you know what they did? They posted a video, guess what of, them singing Ice Ice Baby. It's a very good song. And I would just like to take note that Alan Patterson, this guy right here that we're looking at, has heard the song Ice Ice Baby before. How's it go, Alan? All right, stop. <laughs> you ain't going to go? Come on. Collaborate and listen. Ice is back with a brand new invention. Something. Grab the hold of me tightly. Full of luck, harpoon, daily and nightly. Will that stop? Yo, I don't know. Turn off the lights and I'll glow. Do you know the rest of it? Come on. You never. Come on. I sing part of it. You can sing part of it. How about Swing Low Sweet Chariot? You ever heard of that one? You heard it because I sang it a while ago. That's the only reason why you've heard it. Never pay attention to it. So you've heard a uh, white guy singing a rap song, but you've never heard Swing Low Sweet Chariot, which actually is one of them uh, Negro work songs. Now, I'm not trying to be racist, but it is. It was in the Blazing Saddles, you know, when he's out there working on the railroad. Swing low, sweet chariot. But you don't know that one. But you know a rap song. You're not going to sing part of it? Nope. Well, if I give you a dollar. <laughs> What would you do for a dollar? Nothing. I'm not talking dirty, Alan. What would you do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> so you still reading your little hymn or your uh, anti-demon book over there? Whatever you want to call it. It's one of them where you read the stuff out there and it'll banish demons from the from where you're at, right? It was a great curses also. Like what? What kind of curses? All kinds. I have a curse of being handsome. You look, look, you got anything in there to break that? Alan, it's not easy being this uh, this ruggedly good looking. Come on here. Yep. Can I help you? Yes. Is there any way possible I can use somebody's phone to help you? Hang on a minute.